Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to animate text in Wasp 3D Drone Designer. So let's start. Let's create a text. Now I will type something on it. So hello world. This is a text. Now I will increase the size so that we can see 55 would be better. Now I will select the text and uh, rename it because you know always rename the objects or materials you have so press f2 and uh, type data text or something else you want so it's now data text one now scroll down and uh, let's just do a simple animation so without character animation so i will fade in and fade out at the frame zero i will turn this opacity node to off and uh, come forward in frame 15 i will turn this on so it will create a timeline under the data text under transform and uh, if we scroll down under the visibility track so if uh, we can just play now we can see it's uh, fading in and if we pause it for uh, about uh, 15 frames so i'll duplicate the 15th frame key to 30 and just uh, at 45 frames i will turn off the visibility so now it's fading in staying and fading off so this is good but uh, i will keep this here and duplicate the text and uh, we will animate this like uh, it's typing or uh, each character is appearing from left or right so to do that select the text from here come down and uh, turn auto key on now in character effects click and check animate transform local and uh, put overlap to something similar and uh, come forward where our next key is and it's in frame 15 come here and click on character effects again and press ok now if we see it's uh, started typing and uh, stays and fade out it's fade out because we don't have character animation in those keys and uh, you can see the animation keys below in the parametrics so we have a key in frame 0 and uh, a key in frame 15 but we don't have in 30 or uh, in 45 so what we do we can just duplicate the keys or create those from here so if we click here it will create the key and uh, at frame 45 shift and drag so it will duplicate the key that's it so it comes from left and uh, fades out as well but what if i want to appear it from right so you can change the direction from here or you can change the direction from here as well backward random texture so we can try this and uh, i will select the key and uh, i will choose uh, backwards now if we see the text is appearing from the right and uh, fading out from the left so what we have to do is uh, change this key as well it's in forward put it in backwards now it's in backwards we don't have to modify each and every key but i like to modify all keys i am certain that it will be forward or backward so i will change all of the keys now you can see this is uh, animating from left and right so let's uh, duplicate the first one one more time and bring it down let's keep it up i will put it here and uh, let's work on this so if uh, we open the track view of uh, the data text tree, uh, it only has the translation applied to it and uh, nothing else. You can see, I will hide this for a moment. So if you are having hard time in scrolling and uh, finding the keys, so what you can do is check this animation button then uh, only the tracks which has the keys or animation will appear and all of other will be hidden if we press all all of the tracks will show and if we select animated only animated tracks will be visible okay and uh, let's continue so 
the data deck tree do not have the character animation effect so i go to frame one open the character animation effect and this time i don't uh, put any value in this press ok and then come forward to frame 15 and uh, do not enter any value on the overlap so if you see each text is appearing at the same time if i shrink the animation duration you can see this is doing this if i expand this the text will appear very slowly and if i remove the key altogether it will not work so the animation will go like this and if i do the distance between each keys it will go like this if i increase the distance between each keys it will go like this now if we delete these keys so it is just up here and we can increase the duration so it's it appears like it's typing we can also reduce the visibility and now it's taking 50 frames to type all this see if i match those the animation will be smoother so what if okay that's it and uh, let's duplicate it again and turn this off this is data text 4 and it's a duplicate copy of the previous one if i delete the visibility and uh, just keep the character effects it won't do anything because it uh, applies to the animation or transform or any other animation track along these animation track so we have to have uh, uh, animation like uh, visibility translation scale or uh, rotation i will try translation this time go to frame one click on the translation panel any of these now come to frame 20 and uh, translate it at the bottom or somewhere else so it will look like this select the character animation key and turn overlap to 8.5 or something so it will be smoother or more characters will translate at the same time okay if i increase the duration or i can do this so it will apply the animation from first 10 frames then it will simply translate I can also turn on the visibility and turn it off in frame 10. Now it will be appearing from nowhere. So you can see this. Now let's uh, duplicate again and uh, keep this at top. Turn this off. Take data. Remove the translation keys. So it only have a visibility key which we can also delete. So we can also use scale by scale this to 3 coming forward I scale this to 1 it will go like this. We can also use visibility so it will go like this. We can also use the translation with all these press a translation panel and bring left and turn off the visibility now it's coming from the left and bring it to right and it's coming from the right area anyways please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you